Jah people. Greetings, greetings. Shalom, Jah people. We are back again here at Shalom Health the Metaphysics Store, and I wanted to share with you guys one of the main spiritual herbs, metaphysical herbs, that has been shown to have a lot of different uh, uh, successful and effective benefits. Now, I don't always talk about spiritual, so really get into this one. So today's herb of the day, we are talking about hyssop. Now, if you guys haven't heard of the hyssop, it is actually mentioned in the Bible 12 times. Um, in the Old Testament, they use this for spiritual cleansing. Now, uh, you can find this in the Middle East, um, the Mediterranean area, the Western Europe, and some parts of Africa, Egypt, and Ethiopia. Uh, like I said, the metaphysical properties, guys, of the hyssop, um, you can find right there in the Bible, Psalms 51, where it says, Purge me with the hyssop so that I shall be cleansed. Now, a lot of these spiritual leaders, high priests, church leaders, use this as a blessing or uh, a cleansing mechanism for the altars. Uh, from all of the baptisms and the uh, sacrifices they have done, they use the hyssop to cleanse those areas. And also, any individuals that come into your home, you can bless them with the hyssop. So instead of saging them, just bless them, you know? Uh, I've been using this in a spiritual bath to help people get rid of negative energy, uh, uh, evil spirits, I call them jinns. Um, this is a good way to cleanse and purge. So that's just some of the actual metaphysical benefits. So some of the medical and the biochemistry behind it, you guys, it has a number of different cleansing mechanisms. It actually speeds up the detoxification. Um, I use it as an astringent. I use it as a, um, a way to speed up circulation in the system. Um, it's anti-rheumatic, meaning it can help those out with arthritis and speed up their circulatory system. Um, many different systems, guys. Uh, there is an antiseptic, so it does not create sepsis in the body when there is a cut, a laceration, an abrasion, or something like that. Any boil, it can speed up the uh, recovery in anything that is uh, becoming hyperpigmentated. Uh, this is a good herb, guys, any for those who have uh, acne and wants to get rid of the blemishes behind the acne. Saturate this herb into oil. That's what they use it for. Um, this has been used in holy water, the sacred holy water that they call it. Um, it can be used to clear and clear your eyes uh, from floaters. So you can see that they've made eye drops out of the hyssop before. Um, also, when there's a childbirth, they usually put the holy water on the, the child uh, when they come out so that that is blessed as well. So um, I found out in uh, very recent uh, studies, 2016-2018, uh, that this has the ability to protect the capsid of the cell. Now what that means, guys, is that anybody that is immunocompromised, dealing with HSV-1 and 2, or HIV, this will protect them up to 50% because it stops the uh, reverse transcriptase enzyme from the RNA to the DNA. So therefore, you can't replicate the virus in the body so many times. So this is a very, very good herb, guys. Um, those ladies that are having the saggy arms or cellulite on the legs, this is a, an astringent, guys. So that means it's going to constrict those blood vessels and those muscles, making it very smooth again. Um, so I just wanted to drop off some jewels and information. There's many different benefits when it comes to the hyssop.